let's open up new possibilities by adding doors and trapdoors to the game. Let's see how that works. Alright, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more, and yes, I actually have used that intro before, but what can you do? Sometimes you have to go with the classics. Uh, whatever the case may be, doors and trapdoors are actually fairly easy to implement once again. Those are some of the, I would say, non-block blocks, basically the last one of the non-block blocks that we're going to implement here. So both the Ruby door and the Ruby trap door. Now, overall, this is actually fairly easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the Ruby button here and we're actually going to copy that twice. And then this is going to be the Ruby underscore door. And then, of course, also the Ruby underscore trap door. There you go. And then let's not forget to change the name here as well. This is the Ruby underscore door and this is the ruby underscore trap door now all of that is fine this is of course then a door block as you will see once again this has protected access so we will have to make our own mod door block class and then with the trap door this is the trap door block you can see that this is pretty much the same thing so once again we need to make two new classes here but of course no worries there whatsoever this is no issue we've done this plenty of times now so right click new java class this is the the mod door block and this will extend the door block there you go and then we'll hover over this create constructor matching super and then simply make this public right here and we can actually select this and then put it in here import it with alt enter and there you go so that is number one and then the trap door also right click new mod trap door block and we'll extend the trap door block as well and then hover over this, create constructor matching super, making this public here and then taking it right here. There you go. Now that's sort of like half the story right here. There are two other things that we need to add. One of them is right here. We need to add the non-opaque option right here as well as here because of the door and the trap door in our case actually have some alpha values. I will show the texture in just a moment where you basically can see through the block. Anytime you have alpha values in a block texture, you will need to add the non-opaque. One more thing we need to do is set the block render layer map. What does that mean? Well, we'll just type in block render layer map dot instance and then put in a block. Now this is going to be mod blocks dot ruby uh, trapdoor and then this is going to be the render layer dot get cut out actually and then we can simply duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and then we'll also put in the ruby door as well so both of those have to be under the render layer cutout so that basically the alpha value works as well so those are two of the things that we need to do we need to once set the block render layer map here and then also add the non-opaque. So both of those are important there. And then of course we need a block models as well as item models. I of course have those prepared already. And those are of course available to you either as individual gists or in the GitHub repository. And once again, those are very similar to what we've seen in the previous few tutorials. Basically the fences, fence gates, all of them had different variables here. So different uh, block properties which basically then simply change what the model is that it points to. Pretty much exactly the same for the door. And then let's copy over. So the door actually has a four different block models. However, they're really not that interesting. So there's two for the bottom and two for the top. And then one basically has the bottom as the parent and one has the bottom hinge as the parent and the other one is the top hinge and the top. So there's nothing really that exciting going on to be honest. The trapdoor has three models for the block and as you can see those are also all fairly similar. They all point to the same texture. They just have a different model, the model open, the model top and the model bottom. So the bottom basically is when you put the trapdoor on the bottom of a block and then you can also sort of put it on the top of a block. So there's two ways that you can basically place a trapdoor down and that is what this models. But when it comes to the item models, there is one thing that is interesting and that is the trapdoor simply points back to the block model of the Ruby trapdoor bottom as you can see. However, the door actually points to a texture itself because when you think about this a a door actually has its own dedicated texture and not the block texture so we actually have to add the ruby door to the item textures number one and then number two for the block textures we have the bottom and the top door half of the door as well as the ruby trap door so let's add those 
And then I can also show you in the top half, you see that you have sort of this cutout here. And this is what I mean with alpha values, right? So alpha values is simply a transparent part of a PNG image. And for that, basically, you need the non-opaque as well as set the block render layer map to cut out. And then that should work. But last but not least, of course, let's not forget to add the translation as well in the en underscore us json file. And then after all of those have been added, let's see if it works. All right, so as you can see, the door and the trapdoor have been added to the game. And I can open and close them either with right clicking or I can, of course, also use redstone signals as well. Now, the reason I can open and close it with well, basically my hands is because of the way that we set it up. So if you take another look at the mod blocks here, I have used the material stone. If I would use the material metal here, then it would work like iron doors. So that is something that's very important. So you can basically set the material here and then it will basically function differently. But we're going to keep it at stone. That's totally fine. You can, of course, change that in your own mod, however you might want to. But that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would, of course, appreciate a like. And I will see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.